If you've been following my channel for the last couple of years, this is uh, the third insight that I've had. It'd be the fourth uh, gun of this platform if you include the uh, onslaught that I had previously as well. Um, I want to get one of these again because they're known as a tinkerer's electronic gun, meaning um, you play with things. So, for instance, I have uh, X rings on the uh, on the back side of the ramshaft of two uh, 010s back here, and inside the shutoff, I have cast urethane uh, O rings as well. The purpose of that is to hopefully extend uh, the lubrication intervals. These guns are notorious for having um, very short lube intervals because the bolt speed is so quick. It tends to shed the lube off the bolt very fast and you can only get a case to two cases typically before you experience some issues. So today uh, we'll be taking some shots. Um, I'm using a Dye ULS 688 with um, GI field paint, a mix of stuff from the last month or so. A uh, Ninja Pro V2 regulator outputting about 450 PSI, and I think that's about it. So um, let's see if we get any bolt stick. When I came out here this morning, it's about 37 degrees. First shot was a little low, but everything other than that was great. So we'll see what happens. There we go. That was the hopper. Um, had a little bit of bolt stick, as you can see. It's kind of to be expected, but uh, we'll see if that goes away as the O-rings break in. Uh, these are really fun guns. It's, like I was saying previously, if you uh, if you enjoy tinkering, messing around with guns other than like older autocockers and things like that, check one of these out. You can pick them up usually for about three three hundred fifty dollars, depending on the anodizing. Um, this one has a reflex engine, as you can tell by the uh, back cap. Uh, I recommend that. Definitely improves the uh, the shot a little bit and the reliability overall. But um, yeah, check it out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.